Home is where family is made. Home is where thousands of small moments build unbreakable bonds. Home is where Thanksgivings and Christmases and birthdays and graduations punctuate the everyday. Home is where consistency and stability provide the framework for outbursts of laughter and joy. Home is where sicknesses turn back to health. Home is where new friends are introduced to family. Home is where new friends become family. Home is where family is made. The mission of Lafayette Community Church is simply this, we exist to help people discover life in Christ. And we're convinced that the people who live in Tippecanoe County really deserve a little bit of love. We want to show them the love of Christ in such a way that they respond to Christ in such a way that they experience the life that He designed them to live. Now, that's a pretty big dream if we're going to try to reach the entire county. And that's one of the reasons why we need a really good home base. So the success of our vision and our mission doesn't depend on us having a building. We could just be God's people living in this community, loving people, loving our neighbors. We could accomplish things that way. But as a church organizationally, there are certain things that we can't do unless we have a facility. And one of those things is to invite people to a warm, welcoming environment that they can feel is their spiritual home, a spiritual family home. When I came to LCC, there was scary things here. There was people that said the same thing on Sunday as they did on Thursday nights at Core Group and the same things on Sunday afternoon when they weren't in this building. And the decision came when hard times came and I could look to these friends and they would be beside me and they would help me through it by showing me back to God. Instead of saying, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, it was, let's pray. Or, you know, you don't need to cry about this, you don't need to be upset about this, it was, let it out, let's go to God and be okay. Last summer, I was talking with Beth Hardy, our Kidopolis director, and I said, okay, Beth, tell me reasonably how many kids we can handle in Kidopolis. And we totaled up the number 43. 43 was the total number of kids we could handle on any Sunday morning. Well, about three weeks ago, we had 50. And when Beth told me that number, it just confirmed once again that even though it might feel like we've got some more room for the adults, we clearly do not have enough room for the kids. And I never want to get to the point, and we've actually had to talk about this, where we have to put a cap on how many kids we can have back in Kidopolis, because we have to have a number where we can handle the kids safely. And the thought of us turning kids away or saying, well, you have to pre-register, and once we hit a number, you're not allowed back there, breaks my heart. And we want to make sure these kids are absolutely convinced that God loves them. And so we want them to be in an environment that feels fun, exciting, uh, refreshing, encouraging. We want them to be in that kind of environment. But secondarily, we want the parents of those kids to know that we love them and their kids both. If a family comes to our church and there's not enough room for their kid, they're not going to be interested in staying very long. And so what happens in the kids program really affects the whole church. You know, our approach to the capital campaign is really interesting. I've had a couple of conversations with people, and the thing is, I'm a staff member here at LCC, and so people have asked me, Billy, are you going to give to the capital campaign? Why are you going to give to the capital campaign? Don't, why do you give and then you get a paycheck? What's the purpose of that? What, just don't give. And You know, honestly, I, I really believe that this is something that we're supposed to do. This family needs more room so we can have more people in it. We need places to do things, more places to have more ministries, to reach more people. 
more ways to change the world and we need space to do that. It's a bold risk to unify the people who are part of Lafayette Community Church in an attempt to say, how committed are we really to the future of what God could do in this place? That's why we're asking people to participate. That's why we're asking people to jump on board with this campaign. That's why we're doing it in the first place. We really authentically believe that God has something really great for us right around the corner. And we want to be ready. We want to be positioned to take advantage of whatever door He opens up for us. That's why we're doing this campaign. And that's why I want you to be a part of it too.